let's move on. Let's talk about this uh, lift it, fixing problems, hopefully, of unjust deactivations due to fraudulent passenger claims. And uh, for those who don't want to see something that they might not, uh, you oh, might not want to look. Seen it, bro. Well, seen true, it. but uh, just giving the fair warning just in case. So uh, here you go. Take it away. <laughs> okay. So without grossing anybody out, okay, I'm seeing comments. Okay, email me, Sergio at the guy.com. I'll introduce you to the guys with Malda. I'll introduce you guys in Seattle. I'll introduce the guys to Colorado. Look, there are a lot of, they're not your traditional unions. They're like more like associations. Denver, I think it's uh, independent Denver United, uh, um, which is driver's association there. You can create an association in your own city. You don't have to be your typical uh, SEIU or UAW union. We're not talking unions here. We're talking power of numbers. Long story short, this driver, okay, <laughs> drunk guy, okay, drunk guy uh, gets in his car, Chris, LA. This is LA driver. He goes, the guy pissed in my car. There goes my night. That's, that's his fucking stains, okay? Of course, he takes these pictures, sends it to Lyft. What do you think Lyft paid this guy, Chris? Don't you think you should have paid the full 150? Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know what they paid this what? guy? 80 bucks. Buck? <sighs> Stingy. Oh, okay. So, but that wasn't the problem. That wasn't the problem. The guy got the 80 bucks. He's getting it cleaned up. The next morning he wakes up. There is the text message on the left. It goes, your driver account is on hold, Chris. The dumb shit who pissed in his car told Lyft that the guy was. Look at what they think about the passenger said. The Lyft safety team may call you soon. Please answer. There is an update, blah, blah, blah. And um, it says, well, this is my texting back and forth. The guy reaches out to me. He goes, Sergio, I'm panicking. What am I supposed to do? I go answer the goddamn email. So what the guy did, Chris, the guy who pissed in his car, didn't like the $80 hit that he got, okay? You should have gotten like $250 like the old days, sir, whoever you are, pissed mm -hmm. in the car. But he called Lyft and said, I have never drank alcohol. So, so he, he called Lyft and complained that this the driver was drunk or under the influence and that the driver asked for cash for the cleanup. I know this driver personally. He's from LA. Look at his text back and forth. Put the last one back up. Because I want to I want to put the time light on this. So if you guys see on top on the left screenshot, the time is 838. Right, Chris? Is it 838? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So the driver goes, Oh my God, such an insult. I have never drank alcohol in my life, not even a sip, and never will. And now because the customer pee in my car unknowingly because the fucking guy was passed out he just relieved himself he, they're accusing me of being under the influence and what does lyft do look i'm not blaming lyft they put you on um uh, on hold or they suspend your account right and then go to the next one now so i just want you to guys pay attention to the timeline 838 is when he got the text from lyft um on the left screenshot Text, uh, the email time is 9.13, so it's about 45 minutes. Lyft is sending the driver an email saying, please respond because um, we have a passenger, we have a report alleges that you are under the influence and ask the rider for cash. Okay, you guys see that on the left, right? The guy says, of course not, wrong, fraud. Next email, again from Lyft, 9.21. So now it's 8.38 to 9.21, less than an hour, right? So that's when we're texting with him. I, he goes, what am I supposed to do, Serge? I go, bro, I go, go answer the fucking email. They didn't deactivate you. They just suspended you. If you don't, then they will deactivate you, right? So in the middle one, it says, you know, the procedure basically for this. And look at the one on the right, Chris, 9.35 a.m., literally less than an hour after his account was suspended here is the email he receives from lyft this is ryan thank you for taking the time to respond which he did respond to these two emails on the left i'm glad to hear that you would never drive while under the influence and boom they reinstated his account 
How good is that? Is that good? Because look, we pound these companies quite a bit. But when it's credit is due, we need to give these companies credit. I know Lyft is working on this process to make this process a lot better. And if this is how it's going to be, Lyft, much love. Okay, you guys can call me shill and whatever the fuck you guys want to call me. If every process goes like this, within less than an hour, a driver is put back on the road because some asshole who pissed in his pants last night fraudulently accused this guy of something, I'm speechless. I'm great. Wonderful. Right? So now let's see if it works in a bigger picture. Yeah. But Well, dash camera footage would definitely go far in that one. So well, that's why you should always do dash camera. In the back seat, bro. He pissed in the back seat. What dash camera? No, I know. But I mean, the fact of the whole thing with the, the under the influence bullshit, especially, I mean, first of all, you could definitely take that because how far into the night was this driver already? I'm sure probably quite far, meaning he's probably already given rides. And if everything yeah. went to and from perfectly fine, I don't think that driver is going to be. So that is something that needs yeah. to be really uh, addressed right off the bat. Something yeah. like you could easily go in and see how long was the driver on beforehand and yeah. all that. And then the whole thing with the cash. Yeah, that's, something that you could definitely submit um when it comes to the dash cam footage and it would clear everything there so i mean yeah when it comes to the pissing that's what pictures are for and uh unfortunately that driver did not get the full amount but uh oh, that's when i would go near. take it to to somewhere and uh whatever they charge it then i would charge oh, it to what the lift. f will come on bro i told you no oh well wow thanks Wow. Appreciate Will, that. Thank you, man. Thank you. Much appreciated. I hope you're safe. I hope you're enjoying your black uh, Tesla. Um, so anyway, if Lyft, I know you're watching. Uh, I'm giving you credit on this. Uber did this about a month and a half ago, you know, in LA announcement. Look, these things, people, are all happening because we're talking about it. And I'm, I'm literally talking to you people without your input, without what you guys want done on just the activation protection, ID uploads on the passengers right? This type of process, quick turnover, not this like, let me get back to you in like 72 hours, all that bullshit, right? I mean, one hour, Chris, in my life is unheard of from getting suspended to getting put back on the platform. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, 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 you yeah. this is, it cannot go smoother than this. So Lyft, I hope you're going to duplicate this nationwide because this is the type of protection drivers need. And we are working with these companies. I'm telling you, these are the things that I want to see. But more importantly, I just want to see nobody drives for free for one minute and one fucking mile going forward. But we're working on that. But this is amazing news. Thank you, Lyft. Much appreciated. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.